It is a frosty one this morning Whew, out here in the garage. Um, we do got a fire going, if I can show you that. And uh, it's putting off a little bit of heat. But um, it's still kind of cold in here. It's definitely cold outside. We're going to go outside and start my truck, do a little quick cold start because i got to run down to Lowe's. We are going to be insulating the roof of my garage because there's a big hole in it and I'll show you that in a minute but let me get start this thing up because it's frosty out um, you can see the windows are all frosted up the front window is not too bad actually just a side window so anyways <clears throat> let me get this thing started We'll let that warm up for 10 minutes, then we'll take off 10, 15 minutes. Well, let's go take a look at what we are working with today, what we're going to be doing. We've got to do some measurements and stuff. We're going to run to Lowe's, like I said, pick up some insulation boards because, wow, it's cold out. Man, it's cold out. So anyways, back into the semi-warm garage. Um, so you can see behind me, the ceiling, it's got plywood on it. So that's kind of, it's not insulated, but it's better than having that. Cause all the heat goes way up to the top and then you just lose a ton of heat. So we're gonna get insulation boards and put insulation boards starting, let's see if I can get this in here. My plywood starts right there. And we're going to put insulation boards starting there to hoy over to the wall over there, hoy up to the garage door in the front and the hoy back to the garage door or to the wall behind me. We do got some heat duct and I actually got an oil furnace over here that I used last winter. But with the big hole in the ceiling that I got, um, I think I was just losing a lot of heat through there. And like I said, we got the little wood stove over here going. Also, you can see that in the background. And that actually, whenever we get this thing fired up, it actually puts off a ton of heat. But right now, we just, we're a little short on wood right now. So I got to measure up the ceiling. I'm going to measure up the ceiling. And I'm going to run to Lowe's, get some insulation, so we can get this thing insulated. I got warmed up a little bit and uh, gonna hit the not really interstate at 522 heading down to Winchester. Probably make a pit stop at Dunkin' Donuts for sure, get some ice, get some coffee, probably not iced coffee this morning, and get something to eat. Maybe get some uh, hash browns and some snack and bacon. But just going down the back rural roads of West Virginia. Alright, can't beat that. to stop here at the gas station get some fuel thirty dollars got you nine gallons if you look up here at the sign it's 329 a gallon so it's not very much fuel for thirty dollars all I can say is let's go Brandon
we got back from Lowe's and uh, there's my got 10 of these insulation boards on my truck so there they are I had to strap them down but he's come up the road and I bought this 2x4 which was rather expensive it cost like 4 bucks and I was hoping that was going to be enough to keep these things from flying off but they're pretty light and I was coming up the road and they were starting to lift off the back of the truck because I got that stupid hitch up underneath there I don't know if you can see that no, not too much but there's a, a ball in it for a fifth wheel hitch and that's why it's sitting all crooked and everything so I had to bring out a couple straps and kind of strap it down so it'd keep it from flying off the truck. But anyway, we're going to get these things unloaded and get these things into the garage. So <clears throat> I got my insulation pulled in. I've been working and you can see right here I got one piece up and then right here at my head. Let's bring it out of the way here. And let's go this way. There we go. Right there. I gotta take that light down because that's on the bottom of the two by four. So I'm gonna take that whole junction box, light, whatever off. I'm gonna rewire, reroute that wire over to this beam right here in about uh, this area right here somewhere and put an electrical socket like is right here. Put one of those in there, then run another wire across and put another one over at the other end. Of course, I'm not going to do all that today. What I'm going to do today is just get this light pulled down and get the wire moved over there so I can put my second piece in. So the first piece is in. Let's go look at this real quick. I had to drop my air duct down to put it in. But I got it in, slid back against the wall, as you can see there, up on top of the cement bricks. And I come through and put a couple of the nails in on the front half to pretty much hold it in place and there's that light so that's what we're going to do I'm going to kill the power I'm going to remember my breaker box I'm going to kill the main breaker kill the whole power in the whole garage disconnect that wire and rewire it rewire no, I can't even talk today reroute it over there that way and there's my other nine pieces we can get this thing done Today. So I kind of got on a roll and I got the first piece up and then I got the, uh, the electrical socket or whatever pulled down and I threw up two more pieces real quick. So I got two of the pieces up and they're over to this section. So we got little short sections there that go down to that board and back to the wall. And that's like um, 50 some inches, like 55 inches, 56 inches. I was hoping that I could just cut a piece in half because these are eight foot long. I was hoping I could just cut them in half. Um, but end up being a little bit longer, so I might not have enough. I might be like one panel short or something like that But I got my first piece there. That's the 50. I think I got it cut at 55 inches to go up in there and uh, I just wanted to Show me putting one up So I'm gonna set up the camera Hopefully it's got enough lighting back in here. I don't know if we're up and we're gonna put up the section that goes right there
I got one half of my garage done. As you can see, I got it the way over to the wall there. The only section I haven't got is over in here in that corner where that uh, pipe is. I have to get, I can't put it up against that pipe, it'll catch fire. So I'm not sure what we're going to do about that yet. And I got to put my heat, bu uh, heat duct back up. It's hanging down. I got some straps. I got to strap it back up to the roof. But it's done the whole way up to the, the first half section of or the back half section of the garage. So that's cool. And we got our fire going over here. It's actually pretty decent in here from about 7 o'clock at night. Probably about 25, 30 degrees outside. And it's probably 55 or so in here. I'm guessing. I don't know. But that takes care of the back half. The front half over here is going to be a little bit of work before I can get done with it. i got to take all that wood down, come up on there. Um, this door opener doesn't work. I'm taking it completely off. It's going to come down. And then I'm not sure, but there's these springs. Let me see if I can get a better angle here. There's that. There's that spring, if you it's pretty dark. But anyways, there's a spring there that runs back up and hooks right, right there. And you really can't see that. And you can't see it there either. Anyways, there's a spring that runs back along there. You can see it there a little bit. And it's above the roof line. I'm thinking about taking a 2x4 and lowering it to where it's below the roof line. Otherwise, I'm going to have to cut a big hole like that in my insulation where it goes up inside, which I don't want to do. But anyways, um, I'm going to end the video right here because really this video ain't going anywhere. Uh, I went down and got insulation and insulated the roof and got one half of the roof insulated, as you can see behind me. So... Uh, we're going to get this other half insulated. I'm not really going to show that too much. I'm going to end this video. I do want to go ahead and tell you guys that thanks everybody for watching. And thanks everybody who comments, likes, shares, and all that awesome stuff. Um, there's not a lot of you out there doing it, but uh, thanks everybody that does do that. Uh, I really appreciate it. And I think that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.